the jumping jack compactor uh, soils in general compact best under kneading or ramming actions like kneading like you knead bread uh, or ramming and compaction ramming and uh, or the ramming force if you will of a jumping jack compactor so uh, ramming or kneading so you'll see like a sheet foot roller with all the, the little uh, nubs on or whatever and that's from supposedly back from Roman days where the uh, Roman engineers would put down a layer of dirt or gravel to had it whatever and run a and literally run a sheep a herd of sheep over the freaking thing to compact it in uh, so that's why sheep so compacted about we're gonna jumping jack compact this thing get our choke right here oh no um, and beat this soil in uh, it's about three feet deep so uh, we'll see if this works out and then uh, but you know granular material like this gravel like angular gravels compact best under vibration so we want to hit it with a rolling uh, like a vibrating rolling compactor or uh, you know vibratory compaction equipment whatever all your standard stuff so all right let's get this instrument this thing's a lot of work they're not a lot of fun you need a camera man. Is in here. Right. Okay. Right. Yep. That's perfect. Perfect. So we got a little bit of that in there. We'll spread this out. We'll give that compactor something to really work on and beat into the ground. And. Um, and we'll really get this worked in good. Now you want to compact and lift. We're pretty thick here, but it's my own property. I'm gonna do what I want, but uh, it's kind of also necessitating. But ideally you want to put in about a foot of soil, compact, a foot of soil, compact, all that kind of stuff. Uh, our conduit that's in there, it's bedded in uh, number nine stone, so we run less risk of smashing or anything, which you definitely have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, so here we go, we're gonna give this a shot. If you've got a lot of moisture in there, it's going to liquefy the soil and just suck itself down in there. So that's what we're adding this stone in here for is to give it something to work in and uh, work against. Cameron, when I get over that way, you can bring that skid steer up and dump some of this material in there. Again, just two, three, four inches. All right, we'll beat that in. So here we go. Oh, you promised. Show, show Sam how the good painter 
Let's see them hands, see how hard you've been working. That's what I'm talking Sam's about. Sam's been painting a 4300 today, so it looks a lot better. Good job, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> You're getting on that thing. What the heck are you doing? Who's this kid think he is? Is that the controller? Yeah, that's your throttle. And you just steer it more. No, hold, only, well, you can hold there if you want. Uh, that's your throttle. And uh, no, let's just steer it. Lean it forward to kind of give it, you know, track and you know, get it moving forward. Yeah. It'll go forward on its own, but you can kind of manipulate it with how you lean it and stuff. So have fun. Okay, so a few, a couple things real quick here. Let me see if I can do this in a way that makes any sense. Um, but I wanna, with compaction real quick, wanna make sure jumping jack compactors, great for soil, that's what they're intended for. Uh, vibratory compaction equipment is for granular materials like your gravels, your crushed uh, stone, your three quarter minus, 304 in Ohio, 411. Um, all the, the, you know, the different numbers and gradations of stone, whatever. You want to go off ASTM standards for stone. That's the most ideal. Each region has its own, uh, you know, nuances as far as how they, how they classify stone and all that. Like, up, way up north, it's like C1A, stuff like, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't get a crush and run or crusher run down south in Tennessee and stuff. So it's just going to vary. But the right compaction equipment matters, right? So... Um, for our patios for compacting that, that dense graded base, we want to make sure we're using vibratory compaction equipment, always compacting in the proper lifts, like we teach on the Hardscape Academy uh, training platforms, hardscapeacademy.com, all that stuff. Um, we want to make sure uh, that we're uh, compacting in the proper lift height, so like our little Wacker 1550 is good for like an inch, inch and a half of dense graded stone. Um, our Bartel 1570, uh, kind of the same deal. Every, all the compaction equipment and vibration and vibratory manners, anyways, is based off of um, is based off of its centrifugal pounds of compaction force. So the Wacker Packers have like third, I think it's 3,300. ICPI standards are about 4,000, but everybody's used the Wackers forever. I don't know. Our uh, 
that Bartel 1570 reversible we have, we love that little thing. It is at about, I think it's 3,500. And then we have that great big Mikasa and it's 12,000 pounds centrifugal force. It's good for like up to a foot of uh, dense graded fill. Although generally all we'll do with that is about a foot so, or is about you know eight inches maybe. All that, so compaction matters. It's the most important thing when it comes to uh, installing pavers or anything that's gonna sit on top of it. So you gotta make sure you're using the right compaction equipment. Uh, also, we'll take a layer of stone. If we're doing a patio and we have our big plate compactor, we won't necessarily break out the jumping jack for it. We might uh, put down about an inch of number 57 stone and beat that 57 stone into it with our smaller vibratory plates. So all that stuff's at the Hardscape Academy. You might check that out there um, and other uh, videos here on our YouTube channel. So I hope that helps. Hope it uh, helps you with uh, compaction stuff a little bit more. Folks out riding and enjoying the day. There we go. Trent Case wants to know how we started, probably. How we started? How did you start? In contracting? Probably. Uh, I started mowing grass, just like everybody uh, does, it seems, in the green industry. And, we uh, call uh, mowing grass the gateway drug to construction. The, yeah, the, it is the <laughs> gateway drug to construction. It's awful. And uh, we started mowing grass, and I, went to, I wanted to get into environmental construction, landscape construction, hardscape construction, all that kind of stuff. And, um, and so we started doing it. And uh, I went to school at Columbus State Community College, and, uh, oh, my GoPro fell over, oh, no. And uh, started doing that, and um, and then here we are, 20 years later, an overnight success. So that's uh, that was our brief start. Well, then I crashed that company 10 years in. Uh, Britt and I got together, and she started a new company after I crashed that one. And uh, that's uh, that's the rest is history. And that was 12 years ago now. That's yes. hard to believe.